Good morning. All right, so today is day 12, I want to say. I feel like I really need to check this before I actually start filming videos. But anyway, but today I am going to do some very boring stuff like grocery shopping and I need to pick up some stuff from the Hyokuen store and I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, I thought it might be fun to take you guys along and kind of show you around the grocery store and things like that. Um, I don't know whether that'll be interesting or not, but there might be some Christmassy stuff around. And I also want to do some, I think it's Nengajo, which are kind of like New Year's cards in Japan. And I kind of want to buy some blank ones so I can make my own. I thought that might be a fun little project that I can do on top of all this crazy editing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go, I guess. Okay. On the hunt for a non slutty red lipstick, and I think I found it. Just maybe. Just maybe. Ugh. This is always gonna creep me out. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um I'm clearly back home and it's quite a while later. Um so yeah, I pretty much went out and did some shopping and some boring, boring stuff and then came home and watched a lot of Netflix. Um, because I just signed up for it. So yeah, um, actually it's been really good. There's lots of Christmas movies on there. So I've just been kind of having a nice relaxing kind of afternoon. Um, 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 um ah, yeah, so I actually went and got some Nenga Jo, which I was talking about. And while I didn't actually really film too much in the shops because I'm always kind of a little bit iffy on, you know, sometimes people have issues with it, some don't. So I'm kind of a little bit careful with where I'm actually filming. I think everybody is, um, especially in Japan, there's, it's very different. Um, but I actually picked up some Nengajo. So these are Nengajo. And I guess they're kind of like, um, they're postcards, but they're kind of like a, a Christmas holiday card um, for the New Year's. Um, so you'll find you know, people in Japan will send these out to all their friends and family um, and there's actually giant big stalls and that um, in a lot of these shopping centers and supermarkets at the moment um, trying to sell these things um, all different types of personalized ones and you know, order, ones you can order and there's like cartoon characters and I think I even had some in one of my earlier vlogs but I actually want to try and make my own. We'll see how that one goes. Um, so yeah, I got my Nengajo and I actually picked up some other really cool things at the shops as well, um, which I'm going to show to you. So yeah. So one thing is I've been completely and horribly addicted to the Starbucks gingerbread lattes. Um, they're amazing. But, um, you know, at this time of year, there's uh, so many other things I should be spending my money on. Um, so I actually managed to find this in the shop. So if I go back to dun dun. So if you can see, this is actually herbal tea and it's gingerbread spice. And it actually tastes pretty, you know, close to the mark. Um, and the really good thing is it's actually caffeine free. Um, I am a shocking coffee drinker. I have entirely too much every day, upwards probably of about four to five cups. Um, so to be honest, anything that's going to decrease my caffeine, I'm pretty much immune to it now. Um, it doesn't affect me anymore, <laughs> which is probably a really bad thing. Um, but yeah, pretty much anything that will kind of decrease my caffeine intake is probably a really good thing in the long run. Um, so yeah, it's caffeine free and they're really cute little tea bags and the really interesting thing. So in here there is like cinnamon and rose roasted chicory, ginger and carrot and it tastes really good. There's no sugar, there's no, there's pretty much nothing in it actually if you look at the little nutrition thing, there's literally nothing in it um, except for herbs. So it's really good and I usually, I don't usually have sugar in my coffee at all. Um, I usually just have a little bit of milk and I, for tea sometimes I put a little bit of honey in um, instead of sugar. I'm not a big fan of sugar in tea. So yeah, um, with a little bit of honey, it's really amazing. It's really nice. Okay, on to the next one. I actually found, so this is more of a perhaps Japanese thing. Um, perhaps it is definitely a Japanese thing. So this is Amazake. 
was not get. I'm gonna hopefully get that one right. Um, pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like the leftover like rice products um, from when they make sake. And I think it's a little bit fermented, but it's, yeah, it's pretty much, it's not alcoholic as far as I'm aware. But um, they usually, like, in, you'll see it around this time of year, especially in shrines. Actually, I tried it the first time when I went to the local Ebisu festival, um, and they were giving away amazake um, for free, actually, in the shrine, which was really, it was a really nice chance to actually try something new. But yeah, so pretty much um, this is warmed up, and you just drink it as a drink hot. So I actually managed to find this at my supermarket, and I really, really want to try it because I love it. It's so nice. It's got such a different taste to it I can't even explain it really it's quite sweet um, and yeah it's it's really good I'm a all right and last but not least <laughs> it comes today please I found these in the international food shop and this makes me so freaking happy you have no idea um, so while they're a completely different brand to what I'm used to, um, ginger nut biscuits are my all time favorite, favorite biscuit, um, back home. This is like, I grew up on these. My, whenever we went to my grandma's, she would have a big like jar of these and we would dunk them in pineapple juice, which sounds disgusting, but you know, when you're four, it's delicious. <laughs> And yeah, just these biscuits just remind me of home so much. So at this time of year, having something like this is just lovely, to be honest. It's really, really nice. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and enjoy a nice cup of tea and a biscuit and <laughs> do some editing. Hope you guys have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.